Welcome to a bit of a different kind of assignment here. This is a little program called well, Kerbal Space Program. It's, uh, it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek game that actually does have some fairly in-depth mechanics. Um, for instance, we're coming up on, we've got good data on our surface velocity, as well as our time, which leads us into a question. We can use a rational formula here, a rational equation. A equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time to determine our average acceleration. So go ahead and give that a try, looking at the data we have here. All right, what happens in every launch, real or simulated here, is what's called a pitch maneuver. Now, this isn't the smoothest pitch maneuver because I'm not very good at this game when I made this little demo, but you'll notice that instead of heading straight upwards to get into orbit, what you actually have to do is pitch and turn so you're moving parallel with the surface of the planet you actually, in order to stay in space, you need to have a high delta V according to the surface of the planet. And what that starts doing is it starts creating really what initially at least is a polynomial function. So here we've got the highest point as 39,287 meters. So the question to you is If this were a polynomial function, what would it be? And what would the x-intercepts be? So in order to save fuel, I don't want to be burning my rocket constantly. Um, it's actually best to fire at the highest point in order to circularize the orbit. Orbits don't always end up being circular. You actually have to work to make them that way. So once we're at what's called the epoapsis, fire the engines, and you'll end up increasing that parabola until it is closer to a circle. So now, there is a formula for the required velocity to keep a satellite in orbit given the mass of the planet and the radius. So the question here is just taking a look at this formula without doing any math, as a satellite gets higher, does it have to be orbiting more quickly or less quickly? Okay, just going to launch a second rocket here. I'm going to do this sped 
Um, so launching, then we do our pitch maneuver to gain that delta V with the planet's surface. We get that same polynomial shape. We talk about question two. We wait for the periapsis and we get ourselves to an orbit of 77,216 meters. With this and the data provided on the question page, you should be able to figure out what the mass of this planet is in game. So that's the orbital radius, you've also got the planet radius, and you've got the uh, G value as well. All right, I hope this was a nice change of pace type of assignment, a bit of an introduction into how rational expressions can be used in either a virtual gaming application, which is also very similar to how it's actually used in space science, rocketry. Email your instructor if you have questions.